Good morning. Good Saturday morning. It's coffee time in Pleasantville where everything seems to be normal, where everyone is living, where everyone is uh, eating and, and making marriage. And I'm loosely paraphrasing scripture, my friends, um, where everyone is living the normie life, where everyone is, is making their plans for their job promotions and their vacations and their new cars and their new houses. And they basically, and I think it's in a way, it's a blessing for them. They are clueless. They just, they're, they're counting on elections in November to change things. If we just get the right guy or right group of guys and gals in there, our gas prices will go down. Our food prices will go down. This economy will turn around. Everything will get better if we just vote in the right guys. I pray their disillusion is, is wiped from their eyes. I pray that they will see. Let us pray. Let us pray right now, my friends. If you would, please pray with me. I ask for you to pray in agreement, if you will. Heavenly Father, gracious and merciful Lord, in the name of Jesus, our glorious Jesus, we come before you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you have done for us. Thank you that you have suffered for us. Thank you that you have paid the price for our sinfulness and you have redeemed us through your blood, the blood, the blood that redeems the blood that washes us clean, the blood that is our living water, the blood, the blood that so many refuse, the blood that unfortunately most refuse. But we pray right now in your name, Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, that more will start to accept the blood, the blood you shed for us, the blood that redeems us, the blood that washes away our sins. And we are all sinners, each and every one of us. Father, we pray, please, that more eyes will be opened through this fog of war, through this delusion, through this pseudo-simulation that we seem to be living through, where this might happen, this could happen, this blog says this might happen, percentages say this might happen, points, facts, figures say this might happen, this might happen, this date or that date. Right now, we are in a simulation, we are in a holding pattern, while the Devil's minions work behind the scenes. Famous faces work in our faces, showing us what they are doing, rolling out digital IDs, precursors to the mark of the beast, building back better, preparing the kingdom of the son of perdition. As we see Russia, Ukraine, China, Taiwan, things that could happen, things that might happen, missile deliveries, B-52 bombers being delivered, threats, 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 and yet major world cataclysm has yet to visit us, and we should be thankful. We should be prayerful for the families of those who are losing, losing people in Russia, losing people in Ukraine, losing people in China, Heartbreak, heartbreak everywhere, drought, people thirsty, famine, people hungry. We're seeing it, but we have not seen the worst of it. I pray now, I pray now that you will guide us this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Don't know what will occur this weekend, only you know. I pray that you will guide us. I pray that you will give us wisdom and discernment. I pray that we will be living lights for you, that people will see the light of the Holy Spirit operating through us, and they'll want to know what it is that is operating through us, and we can share it. We can say, it's Jesus, it's Jesus, it's Jesus, and he is the only way, the truth, and the life. Protect us. I'm very, very focused, Lord God, on the blind the blind, the blind minions who are given over to the darkness. It is scales over their eyes, but it is also just pure, unadulterated darkness that they have chosen to follow with injections and fears and do this, get this one, get the next one, get the next one, get the next one with this pestilence and that pestilence. And are there really these pestilences at all? I pray for the scales to fall from their eyes, Lord God. I pray that more will see the truth. I pray that more hearts will be softened to the truth. 
I pity them. I see their faces, Lord. I see their faces, people I see every day that don't want to know you, people that are proud and haughty because they've achieved some manner of success, people that are fearful, people that are given over to meth and other drugs, people who are given over to the sickness of the escape. There is the sickness of the escape. It is a temporary escape that leads to a even bigger, I should say tighter, prison around them. They're in prison. They need to be set free. They're captives. They need to be set free. I see these people. I see their smiles, some genuine, most fake. I see these people. They are hurting, and they don't even reconcile their pain. They don't know where it comes from, so they cover it up with drugs. They cover it up with excessive alcohol. They cover it up with material possessions, ordering one thing and then the next and then the next and then the next. Because deep inside, they're afraid. They're afraid of what's coming. They know. And their spirits, they know. And they're afraid. They're afraid. I pray that more of them will turn to the saving grace of Jesus. Protect us this weekend. I don't know why I keep saying protect us this weekend. Protect us. Guide us. Deliver us. Give us your wisdom and your discernment, Lord, and let us be your living lights. Shine through us. This little light of shine, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Shine through us, Lord. It's important. You know. Thank you, Jesus. In your glorious name, we pray. Amen.